Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are. Today we are on this segment, Making Friends Abroad. And we have a special guest because she's from the beautiful country of Uganda and she may introduce herself. Hello. Hi guys, thank you for having me. It's such a pleasure. So my name is Mercy. I got to know you from here. Yeah. Of course, we are all students. Yeah. We were. I'm no longer a student. Yeah. And um, I mean, I'm just happy to be here. So let's get right into it. Where are you from? I think I said that, but you can say again. Okay. So originally, I'm from Uganda. Uh -huh. For how long have you been here? I've been here for four years now. Ooh, boy. Yes. That's a lot. You can tea. <laughs> it's so difficult. How have you been? Like, how have it been so far? I mean, it has been amazing, challenging, and uh, it's it's a tough journey, you know. Yeah. But with time, you get to know everything step by step, yeah. and um, you get to accept who you are in a new place. It's. I mean. That's everything. I, That's good. That's everything. I yeah. mean, I think we're gonna cover that on the other episode on you know the experiences abroad but today on friends abroad how have it been to get friends or to even break into you know an already formed circle of friends how have it been okay for me it has been hard it was really hard however right now i have a couple of few friends yeah. but i know a lot of people because for me my policy is even if I know you, that doesn't mean that you're my friend, you know? Oh. So, <laughs> I have... You're going to add it. <laughs> of course, of course. I yeah. need to really trust you. And yeah. Because I have trust issue. Because mm -hmm. some people here, they smile, and then you think, oh, she's my friend. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow, that you realize, oh, we weren't friends, you mm -hmm. know? So these things, I got to start slowly. I was really nervous. Uh, I was scared. Yeah. I didn't know what the future held for me. And uh, the culture is really different. Mm -hmm. So you cannot just come from wherever you're coming from and throw it off. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like so, some... I, sorry, I feel like some... <clears throat> like friends here have already made friends, like childhood friends. Exactly. So sometimes, like, they went to school together from kindergarten and their friends are together. So by the time you enter there, it's so difficult. And they're not very... Open yeah. yeah, yeah. So for me, to be honest, being a Christian also helped me because I was like, God, I do not want to be among people who smoke. I do not want to be friends with people who smoke. You know, mm. if you smoke, good for you. Do you, bro? I'm not judging, but I wanted a few close people who I called my friend. Who did not smoke? So yeah, who suit very, to your preference? Exactly. Because exactly. I don't smoke, I don't drink. So I mean, yeah. why would I hang out around with people who smoke? Yeah, because then your social behavior would be different from exactly. from, from from them. Exactly. Yeah, and then th that comes to the second point: yes. the social behavior of friends. Friendship here mostly means going out, uh, you know, drinking aperitif. It's all yeah. about after work. I need to drink something, so I will call this. You know, there is not that. I would call friendship, I, I don't know if it's right to say it friendship intimacy, like real friends, like, you know, where you discuss stuff, what, are, what you want to be in two years, where are we going to invest or anything. It's more of, yeah, ah, can we have a glass of wine? Oh, you know, like, yeah. it's a social thing and I, I, I'm not drinking every day, you know? things to do. I'm just going to drink every day, man. And you know, the problem is all the challenging part ones. We were all students right there. So you have to study. You know, like for me, I came here and I had to start studying this thing. I didn't even know. I was like, God, what the heck is this? Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was. And uh, my first day in class, I remember saying hi to my the few people who were close to me. And then I sat. And it was physical. I'm like, I think I'm lost, okay? But um, with time, I was like, I got this. I need to do it, you, you know? Warm I need, you need to warm to, up. You need to I need draw to yourself in there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that is what I did. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, also with time, you get to know that you have to talk to people, you have to socialize. That is very important because yeah. otherwise you get locked up into your own world, which is not so fun. Mm -hmm. And then so. you, you, you work so hard to get friends. Yeah. And after... After you have these friends, you think they're friends, they get into 
they are relationships, they get into relationships, and then what do you do? Um, and then they disappear exactly. because they're committed. Actually, the thing happened to me, you know, there was this girl that I was talking to, like, she was my friend, we used to study together, we, have to, we used to do everything, like, together. <laughs> and then, this bitch fell in love, I mean, I'm sorry, she got a boyfriend, and then she disappeared. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm like, why? Yeah. Because actually, these things happen if you really see. Uh, ladies, I do not know what it is, but come on, I feel like I can balance both. If you're my yeah. friend... I'm in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I can balance both. Because, yeah, because I have my life, my private life. Exactly. That's what I'm always telling you, yeah. uh, your friends. You, you know, on my channel, I'm always yeah. saying you balance. need to have your life exactly. as much as you have uh, a relationship, as much as you're married or something. You need to have your life. Exactly. And I feel like this is a problem actually. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you are in friends, and then all of a sudden you are with them in a in a friend, in a, you know, in a relationship, and you just abandon okay, everything. everything. You forget yeah. about your goals. You forget about your friends. You just, boom, you are out there, right? It's not nice, it's not nice. So you have to balance mm -hmm. and you have to get into the right circle of friends. Choose wisely. It is very important that because I point. do not want to get into uh, a relationship with people, friendship, with people who smoke or do drugs or do... That is not mm -hmm. my thing, you know? mm -hmm. So I'm like, I want good people. Mm -hmm. So it was, I was lucky because I remember having some friends that we even used to go to church together, we used to eat together. Yeah. They used to just say, hey, Marcy, do you want to go hang out? We used to go and, you know, walk around together. And that was very, you know, very interesting. How did you cope with the kissing friends? You know, there's people, there are I, so many of them because you are from a different culture, different yes. country, and most of them are actually curious Sometimes I would love to say it's a positive curiosity to know where you're coming from and stuff, but it's kind of curious curiosity, which is annoying. So they come to you and they're like, "Hello, Missy, how are you? Where are you coming from? Oh, do you have kids? Do you have uh, how many? You know how many siblings? Do you eat meat?" And girl, be ready for that. Actually, so I think it's very important. To have a very strong uh, confidence in yourself exactly. that even if you're not the real friend, you're a kiss ass bitch in me, I still have to move on. And I am not expecting you to be a forever friend. Yes. I'm not expecting you to be a friend. That, that takes a lot of knowing me. Actually, for me, I'm a believer that, sorry to cut you off, I'm a believer that. Um, we can be friends for two, three, four, ten years, mm -hmm. and then when time comes and then we fall apart, I believe that maybe we grew apart, you know? Mm -hmm. It is what it is, but if we are friends forever, I'm grateful because it means you are a real friend. You got my back, I got your back. Mm -hmm. And I have a rule where some people, you cannot call me. Past 8 p.m., don't call me, okay? But the other people, 1 a.m., yeah. you call me, I show up. Yeah. Okay, that is how committed I am. Yeah. So know your circle, know everyone is your friend choose wisely mm -hmm. and um I, yeah mostly at the workplace people you work with that not your friends they're your co -workers. oh that's very important okay. know so, your place exactly know your place exactly. and another thing you know the overall situation is yes. know who you are and what you stand for exactly because here social i mean the social life is very active after after work you're going for aperitif after this and it's it's a disaster. We are talking yeah. about everybody smoking, drinking drugs and all those kind. You know, you need to know. Otherwise, you will be lost and you don't want to go back home yes, exactly. in a bad place. Exactly. I wish you the best if you're about to move on and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. See you guys. See you. Bye. Thank you, Marcy, for coming. Of course. <laughs>